should celebrate the Father, for He sent His Son to save our souls. Let's celebrate the One who said, "Go forth and sin no more." Let's celebrate the name of Jesus and lift Him up in this holy. That was once again celebrated by none other than K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Let's pray real quick and then we'll play one last song and we'll end our show this way. Also keep in mind for the 30th of this month I'll be posting the, little, the flyer to my Facebook page, my Facebook itself, and my Facebook page TGIF, Thank God It's Forever. And I want to remind you again that Josiah St. Jean will be with us here on TGIF on the 30th of this month of November. And again, happy holidays to you and your family. I didn't say it before, but happy holidays to you and your family. Hope you all have a safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. And even though this pandemic is going on, even though things are not going the way we want them, Just thank God that we wake up every morning. Thank God that we get a chance and opportunity to worship Him some more and to give Him thanks on Thanksgiving and that we get to still be with family. Yes, it's not what we want. It's not the way it's supposed to be. It's not God's design. But you know what? It is actually God's design. Think about it. The Bible says that pestilences and diseases will come. But take heart. Do not fear. Why? For these things must happen. But yet, it is not time yet. The Bible says it is not time for the world to end yet. These things and others, excuse me, pestilences, diseases, famines in the land, wars and rumors of wars, all this stuff have to happen. But the end of time is not near until all of this happens. There's like seven to ten different things, I believe. And if Dr. Cheryl or my pastor or bishop is listening, and I'm wrong, please correct me on this, but there are like seven to ten different things, I believe it is, that has to happen, or have to happen, have to happen, before the world is to end. Just because the Mayans thought that, you know, the calendar ended at a certain year, means it was the end of time. It's not. It's just, what happened was, is they got to the point where they couldn't calculate it no more, and so they figured that was the end of time. Even though, It was not. 
So with that being said, let's pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that yes, this is not what we want. This is not... Your your design, Lord, was not to... Yes, your design, Lord, was to have all this happen before the end of the world comes and as signs and wonders from heaven about the end of time. But this is not your design to lock your people up and to keep them locked up for for hours and for days and for years, Lord, and that we don't get to see family no more, Lord. This was not your design. But it is going on because you let it, Lord, as a test of our faith, as a test to see if we truly, Lord, are for you or against you. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that yes, we yes is not what we want, but we wake up every morning, Lord. We wake up fresh and new every morning to be able to worship and honor you again. And we thank you, Lord, that we're not just in the family of TGIF, but the family of God. The family of God, Lord, where we can come together and just nothing do nothing but bask in your love, your presence, your worship, and your word. So we give you thanks, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. Let's give the Lord a clap offering on that note. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I ask you to bless everyone that sat on my voice that not be what selfish. Not one of those, I want a 2021 car because I want one. Rather, I need a car to get to point A, to get to point B, to get to work, to get to church. If you just want to go and have a coffee with somebody, go have a coffee with a friend. You want to go read the word with somebody. You want to go play video games with somebody else. And if you got the special someone out there that you want to go and have coffee with or take out to dinner and you need that car, Lord, give it to them. As long as it not be selfish. Give them their heart's desires, Lord, so that they can be blessed in you and know more of you and of your blessings. And I ask you, Lord, to heal everyone to sound at the sound of my voice from cancer and diabetes, especially my cousin Jason, I ask you to to help him out, Lord, so he can be well in health, so he can have that good health that you promised, because your word does say, Lord, and a lot of people quote this wrong, Lord, it says, but it says, I'd rather you be in good health. So it does say in your word, and I'm going to look it up right now just to make sure I'm right on this note, but it does say that in your word. So look this up. But, hold on just for a second. There it is. Uh, Third John 1, 2. Beloved, I wished above all things... Beloved, it's uh, 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. So it says right there, Lord, it says, I, beloved, I wish above all things that you, that you may prosper and be in good health even as thy soul prospers. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are blessing him, you're honoring him, and you are healing healing him, and you are helping him be in good health. Lord, as your word says, I'd rather you be in good health. Give him the wisdom to know what to do, what not to do, what to eat, what not to eat, because, yes, he is diabetic like I am, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that you give him the strength to do and continue to do what you want him to do, also, Lord, give him the strength to be able to eat healthier, eat better, and to get a good, healthy diet, Lord. Not one of those keto diet things, Lord, that other people say that's good for you. Don't get me wrong. I don't know what that's about, Lord, but give him that diet from you, Lord, that you want him to eat so that it can be better, it could be healthy for him, and he can be in that good health as your word says. Like it says, I wish that you prosper and be in good health as your soul prospers. So give them that strength to be in good health. And I pray, Lord, that you heal other people too from from diseases that contracted themselves, Lord, through sin. Like 
HIV and AIDS and syphilis and gonorrhea and herpes. Why? Because when you heal them, Lord, it shows your mercy, your power, and your grace. I'm reminded in the word again, Lord, it says this. It says that as you came through the door, you didn't open the door. He says you passed through the door. He said, Thomas, look at my hands. Thrust your finger into my side and see that I am not God. And see and see that I am not God. And what did Thomas do? He got on his knees and said, truly you are the, the Christ, the Son of the living God. And what did you say, God, Lord? You said, blessed are those who have seen and believed. But it doesn't end there. It also says, Lord, blessed are those who have not seen, but yet believe. So I ask you to heal them, Lord, to show your mercy, your power, and your grace. Because once they come back again needing something else from you when they have a request for prayer, Lord, that they don't have to see it no more. They have already seen and they'll know that you will do it abundantly beyond more than they can, than they can, you know, fathom. So that they can say, you know what? God did this for me for the first time. He showed up and showed off right then and there. And he did that and showed me what happened, just like Thomas in the Bible. So I no longer have to see it to believe it. I know it's going to happen ahead of time because God already done, blessed me before. So bless them, Lord, so they can see it and believe it for the first time. And then that way, Lord, they don't have to see it no more. They'll just believe it because it happened already. So we thank you, we praise you, and we honor you, Lord. And it's all in the matchless name of Christ that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. So let's get into one more song. I I want to do a Dr. Tom song. I've been doing Dr. Prophet Larry Row for a while. So let's do one from Dr. Tom, and let's do... That would have been a good idea. After giving our hearts to God, we should have did give our heart, we give our hearts to you. But let's do, let's do No Other God Like You by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy No Other God Like You. I rejoice as I sing the song of praise. Your amazing grace 